Hey guys, Chelsea here from ketogenic.com, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to measure blood glucose and blood ketone levels. Let's get started. Alrighty, I'm just gonna lay out my monitor here. Now just a quick note, it's not necessary to measure your blood ketone levels. Um, it's just a really good indicator if you're in ketosis or if you're just trying to get a feel of where you are. I know I personally like to have exact numbers, so if you're like me, it might help out. So what I'm gonna do is just lay everything out here. I'm using the Keto Mojo monitor today. And the first thing I'm going to do is load the lancet pin with the needle. So to do that, I am just going to unscrew the top like this, put the needle in, twist the top off, and you'll see the needle exposed there. Click it back in. And then there's also an additional dial at the top where you can determine how much blood you want to pull out. I'm gonna adjust it a little towards the higher end for me personally. And then you're gonna to wanna to pull back the trigger here. You're gonna see a red dot there. That means it's locked and loaded and ready to go. So the next thing I'm going to do is clean my finger with an alcohol wipe. I'm going to be using my left hand today because I am right-handed and I don't want that to get in the way. So go ahead and clean here with an alcohol wipe. Now, while it is important to make sure the area is clean, you also wanna make sure it is dry. So give the alcohol plenty of time to dry off. So while that's getting ready, drying there, I'm going to go ahead and open these strips with my other hand. I'm going to be inserting this well here. This is where I'm going to be pouring the blood into. And then as soon as you click it in, it's gonna get started, it's gonna be charging, it's gonna be asking for blood, let's go. So I'm going to take the lancet pin here, stick it to my finger. Now you can use the side of your finger if you'd like to um, make it a little less painful, there's less nerve endings there, so it won't hurt quite as much. I'm gonna stick it right there, pull blood, simple as that, and then look at that. Alrighty, it's got enough blood. So it's gonna take about 10 seconds to read. I'm gonna clean off the area while I'm waiting. And it's gonna give you your blood ketone levels. I'm at 2.0 right now. Um, typically you're gonna look for about 0.5 to 3 um, to indicate you're in a state of ketosis. However, some people may vary. Now the process for measuring blood glucose is the exact same way. You're gonna keep the blood drawn and you're gonna insert the other strip. I don't have them with me today, but you're gonna insert to the specific glucose strips. You'll put it in here, it'll automatically turn on, it'll get charged up, it'll take a few seconds, tell you to add blood. You'll go ahead and add the blood. It'll take roughly five seconds to give you a reading and then you'll have your reading. Well, that seemed easy enough, there are a few ways that you can make mistakes when trying to measure your blood ketone levels. So let me show you a few things you're gonna wanna avoid. One, not using the proper equipment to draw blood. Two, not cleaning your hands enough beforehand. Three, using too much alcohol and not letting it dry in time. Four, measuring your levels right after you get done exercising or haven't been sitting for a few minutes. All right guys, I hope you learned a lot. And if you did enjoy this video, please leave a comment down below and let us know what kind of content you would like to see from us in the future. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to learn more about keto or anything in the keto space, go and head over to ketogenic.com.